Hey, so before I uh, end this video, um, I actually drew up a schematic of the, the furnace downstairs we saw. Um, so yeah, let's go over this real quickly. Uh, here's your, uh, here's the transformer going from the, the, the 242 and 224 volts. Um, so like we said, on the 24 volt side was our thermostat, that fan relay, and the heat sequencers. Um, uh, the coils, the coils for the fan relay and the um, heat sequence. So uh, here's our our uh, fan button. That that button on the left that was either said auto or on. When this is set to on, you will power your uh, you'll send power to the coil of the fan relay, and that will close this contact here. This fan relay contact one will close. This guy will open. Those are the only two contacts in there. Because you can either run the fan on high or low. You can only run it on high when it's on, and you can only run it on low when you have heat on. Um, reason being is you don't want to blow hot air on people, like blow it really hard. You know, you, you want it to be a nice uh, draft of, of warm, of hot air um, heating the house up. Uh, anyways, so uh, there's our fan relay. That's how the fan works. Um, now when you set this to um, to on, or to heat, I'm sorry, from off to heat, uh, you will, uh, once the room temperature drops to uh, drops low below the point that you set at on the thermostat, uh, your switch will close, your temperature sensitive switch will close, and your heat sequencer will begin, it will get um, current and it will begin its sequencing. So, uh, like I said, the contacts are on the 240 side. So once those contacts close, this first contact for the heat sequencer closes, your current will come up. Then there's our low setting on the fan. And since this is set to auto, meaning it's controlled by the heat process, the heating um, process, uh, this contact remains closed because this won't get any current and it won't... Um, it won't close or open the contacts. So this normally closed will stay closed. And as this contact closes for the heat sequencer, you will be able to run your fan on low. Uh, you will get power to your heating element that will begin heating up because of all the resistance in it. Um, and then your and then in sequence, after about 30 seconds each, heat sequencer two will close, heat sequencer three will close, and so on. And then you'll get your power and you've got the fan running through all these heating elements um, until the room is satisfied and pops that bad boy open, cuts off your uh, current to your heat sequencer coil, which will open up all of these, turn your heat off, um, yeah, and there you have it, there's a schematic, schematical look at uh, the furnace downstairs. Alright, thanks for watching.